Hey, what's going on everybody? Got ourselves another senior softball bat from Short Porch. This time we have the inloaded wig popper, guys. Uh, me and Chad are gonna be out there in Cary, North Carolina at Bond Park on Field 6. It's about 3.05 from dead center uh, to the home plate, but we're sitting about 15 foot from behind. Now we're gonna basically try to stay up the middle with this bat, um, guys, because uh, the fences are so short on the other thing and we didn't want to hit the other ball field. But guys, um, we're going to go ahead and put some swings on this thing, but before we do that, we're going to test it. And guys, at the end, we will give you our opinion of what we think of this bat. So, hey, let's go test this bat real quick. All right, guys. Let's test the wig popper. See where she's at. Still in the wrapper. Fifteen hundred on the dot, which is two thirty, guys. Yep, two thirty on the dot. Pretty much. You get a good pitch, or what you do? Be honest. I mean, we might we might be out of balls by the time you get eight more. Yeah. That's what you can do, dude. You can be like, uh. Big difference. Big difference. Inload helps too, big time. Woo, flexy! Yeah. <laughs> That's the good thing about this bat. Yeah. Did that go out? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll give you a little bit of uh, information on the, about the gray wig popper. So it features a 12-inch 12, 12 barrel. Um, you can order these in sizes of 25 ounces all the way to 28. They say on the website that these are a half ounce in load and that these are game ready, uh, ready to use. Now, let's show you here up close what the bat looks like. Here's your end cap. Let's see what it says on here. Hotter than all hell right there. And show you the wig. And this is a 26 ounce. You're staying back, dude. I'm trying to stay back on it. See if I can get it down some. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to skill this gray wig popper. Overall weight, 25.4 ounces. Sixteen five on the end. Eight four on the hands. Now, I've got the original red wig popper, so I figured I would come do a comparison with that. So you guys could 25.4 exact overall weight, and these are both 26 ounces. 16.6 on the red. Let me fix that there. Yep. Let's get the hand weight. 8.4 on the hands guys and these are both 26 ounce line them up here big bumpers Is 
Set number four. Curve back, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's off the handle. Does it still go? So Alright guys, I'm going to do the final testing on the gray wig popper, the inload. Alright, it's right on the 1400 mark, so that is 207 on my tester guys, 207, and it started out at 230. Okay, guys, you saw us just finish up swinging the short porch wig popper, um, the new one, the new end load version one. Now, first things first, we're going to go to waiting, but you saw me make a comparison with this against the red wig popper. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to say this has had like a bigger end load than the red wig popper. Well, you saw in my comparison, they weren't. They were basically the same. I think it was like a one tenth of an ounce difference. Um, Guys, 16.5 on the end, 8.4 on the hands, really good inload, not a lot of hand weight, so it really feels like a true heavy inload of bat. I know they say it's a half ounce inload, but it feels heavier than, say, some of your typical other companies that have half ounce inloads because they don't put so much weight in their hands. Like most companies would put the same inload, but then they're going to put something like 9.3, 9.5 in the hands. So this, they don't do that. Um, as far as the sweet spot, it is a 12 inch barrel, but it has a huge sweet spot. Um, you, don't, you don't notice it's a one piece bat because these always, to me, feel like they swing like a two piece bat, guys. Um, big sweet spot, there's a touch of flex in this thing. Um, I feel like I noticed the flex more this time than I have in the previous. Um, and I feel like that had a lot to do with me as my swing because I'm pushing so much with my swing and my hands. So it makes it, you know, I feel like I feel the flex more, a little bit more. Now we were going up the middle um, because of the field because we couldn't hit the right or left because the field uh, fences were so short. But, guys, we had an absolute, we, I mean, blast hitting it. We had, I mean, the ball just jumps off this barrel. You saw Chad, he was just cranking them up into the trees out there. And, guys, I mean, big sweet spot, not a lot of hand weight. I did notice the flex a little bit, but uh, it, that was more me. I feel like it was more me than, say, the bat. Um, as far as comparison to the red wick popper, I – Honestly, I'm not sure I could tell much of a difference. I'm not going to say this one is hotter than the other one, but, I mean, it's a weak popper, so you know it's hot. Um, if you don't like this one with such the um, such little hand weight and such the big end load, you can always get the baby blue one, which is the same barrel, which has a ton of pop. That's my favorite right now. But, guys, really good bat with a big end load. Um, you can pick these up at Short Porch. Um, I know they just got some more in, so definitely get on that before they sell out. And if they run out, head up to Smash It Sports and you can pick up some there. I'll put links down in the description with discount codes to help guys you save some money. And um, guys, if you want one of the hats from Fat Guy BP, I'll put the link down there below, below where you can get those. And even the batting gloves we use, guys. But I guess that's it. Until next time, keep hitting it, guys. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We'll talk to you later.